Hello everyone, it's Lushawn. If you just found my channel, welcome. And if you're returning to my channel, welcome back. I truly appreciate your support. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Uh, you all are truly awesome. Um, and it does not go unnoticed. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful. So in today's video, I will be detailing my April's budget springtime and um pollen is out and everyone is rushing to the store to get claritin and allegra and all that good stuff sorry but yay it's spring so let's go ahead and take a look at my numbers for for uh april without any uh more of my crazy rambling all right let's take a look okay as per usual I am working out of my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. So we're gonna go ahead and turn to the month of April. And for the sake of time, of course, I have already done the calendar layout, the dashboard of that. Um, let me take off this watch because it's making too much noise for me. Um, and done that. Um, already just so we are not having to watch me put down stickers and all that good stuff um, I will point out that I have made some changes for April because I have done I do a quarterly assessment or assessment and any adjustments that I need to make and I do that because that's also what I do at my job. So I'm like, if it works for my career, it would work in my personal life. So I have done that for um, this particular um, quarter. And yes, there are some changes. And I would recommend that you go in on all of your accounts, um, if not monthly, at least quarterly, just to make sure that things are looking the way they're supposed to look because there were a few things that um, I needed to adjust for. And I'll get into that once I start writing down the numbers on my um, the monthly budget page. But I also wanted to point out, and I hope you guys can see this, um, on the calendar, oops, sorry, on the calendar, um, let the uh, dashboard layout i also put some things under the note section so i i'm currently on the uh, dave ramsey baby step number two dose um and um i am utilizing a lot of his methods and then some of them you know kind of revamping them or, or making them work for me and that's what a budget is all about making it work for you it's your journey um your money um so it has to work the way you need it to work um nothing wrong with taking methods and kind of you know tweaking them so that they work so i'm doing that i'm also going to start putting my score down now the way i um look at my score is i take all three of the credit reporting agency, so Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. I take all three, add them up, and I just do a rough average. Um, so it averaged out to 724. I think my Equifax was 729, uh, my TransUnion was 728, and my Experian was 714. So I just added them, divided by three, boom, rough average. Um, and then I have two goals that I wanna do um, for this month. Um, the first goal will be um, to, again, try the no spin, but I think I was just like overly aggressive um, for last month um, with doing the any 20 days. That was super tough. So I'm going to dial it back just a little bit because I do like the fact that I was able to save some money um, from my um, cash envelopes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a um, no spend any 10 days for the month of April. Any, oops, see I messed up already. Any days and I'm going to just put 10. 
um, for my goal. And for goal number two, I need to call, I want to call um, my life insurance company. What I did was when I looked in here, I noticed that I have been putting this down is coming out on the first, it actually comes out on the second, so I had to make that adjustment. And also, I um, want to move this, which is a part of this, I don't know why they, it comes out on a different date, but I wanna call them and have them just have all of it come out at one time instead of different time periods. So I'm gonna, I need to call the insurance company to change that. So call life insurance company. Um, to change date and I also want to change when my Netflix is coming out because it's like the last thing that comes out so I like to move it you know somewhere in like the third week so I'm also now I think probably the only way I can do this um, probably is like the ghetto fabulous way is to cancel it and then you know, then go back in and reopen the account under the date that I want, but we shall see. So I want to change Netflix due date. So however I need to do that, that's what happened. That's what will happen. So those are my two goals for the month. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our numbers for April because I did have to, again, like I said, I made some adjustments um, with this. So let's go ahead and get started. So of course, um, my income would be uh, check one, number one. And that one is due on the 31st, but it covers my bills through uh, the 1st to the 14th. And my pay is $2,980.85. Check two is the same because I am salaried and I'll get paid on the 15th and that is the same amount. $2,980.85. And then those of you who are familiar with my videos, you know I also list miscellaneous for any monies that may come in. And um, if you are um, new to my page, I do that because I call it manifesting money. I try to manifest money to come in. So that's what I do. Um, I am expecting um, this went down, but it is what it is, um, $210 on the 15th. So that would give me total income for the month of April that I'm expecting is $6,171.70. And I am clearly open to more money if it comes in. I'm good with that. All right. So... For bills and expenses, my mortgage, of course, is also um, paired with uh, my property taxes and insur homeowner's insurance. So I budget, and that's the first, although I pay it on the 15th, I have grace period up until that time because I split my mortgage. But the total, total amount that I budget for is $2,674 even. Toll, what happened with toll is that I had already, I always just was throwing money in toll. It was always, you know, 30, 40 bucks. I had been doing previously before actually starting to write down my budget. So I never really paid attention to how much money was on the statement till I just did my reassessment. And I noticed that 
um, the buffer that I had in there was pretty much gone because what prompted me was I got an email that was saying my funds were low when I went through the toll. And I was like, well, that's not possible. But it was because I had been doing some other trips and taking doing other things where I was taking the toll road. But in my mind, with the $30 I was throwing at it or whatever, um, I don't know what I was thinking, but it was just based on work. So I was like, it was eating away at the buffer. So I had to increase my toll because I am doing more things where I'm taking the toll road. So um, I had to change that. So that is now going to be $70 for the month. Um, life insurance. And again, this is the one that I want to call and have that small one that I have as well so that they all come out at the same time. It doesn't make sense to have that small amount coming out when they all can when it can just come out at once. And that is $98.43. Then I have the life insurance for my mom. And this is with the different company so I can't have it all coming out at the same time with this one um, and this is $51 and American Ex okay and these two come out these are automated so I'm gonna just put a little asterisk next to them American Express Blue, y'all, is the one that is about to go away this month. I'm super duper happy. Ooh, y'all just don't know. Okay, so, and that has to be paid by the 23rd of this month in order for it to go away. And I will have never, ever, ever, ever pay any finance charges on it. So, I am so stoked right now. And that is due on the third. And the minimum amount for that is 167. Of course, that's a roll um, of a, a previous amount that I had already paid off on a car plus this. So yeah, so with this and the amount that I wanna put to my dad's snowball, um, American Express Blue will be bye-bye. So super duper happy. Okay, then we have American Express Gold. And um, those of you who have been here, you've heard me say countless times, I will never, ever, ever get rid of this card. It's a great card, um, great reward points, but I am paying it, getting it back down to zero. Um, but yeah, I, I really love this card. Um, eventually what I'd like to do is once all my debt is done is just have this one car and use it and then pay it off for the month just to accumulate the reward points because I can tell you buying plane tickets and all of that it's been like super great you know just to pay 20 30 bucks for a airline ticket because I can use my reward points so love the card I just need to pay it down okay then I have my Hela, Hela, I don't know how you pronounce that. Student loans, and that is done uh, due on the fourth as well. It's $130. And then Capital One, my last one I have left. Paid off one already. Yay. That is done on, due on the fourth as well. And that one's minimum is $99. Then I have uh, Synchrony, which will be my next item on my snowball once um, MX Blue is gone. So this card will be gone. And this one is a zero APR as well, but I have like two and a half years on it. But according to my calculations, it will be done um, at the end of July. So I am really on a roll is with this and i that's you on the 10th and it's 56 dollars i am just i am so super motivated i don't know if y'all can tell on my voice but i really am okay then i have b b v a compass personal loan 
and that is due on the 15th for 7 15 53 then i have at and t cell phones and that is due on the 17th 1 21 72 um, after all the adjustments was done from a phone number that got, got ported over so that's where i should be with that then I have an, another small personal loan with that one is due on the 20th in the amount of $139. Oh, let me go back. Yeah, this is automated. That comes out automatically. And so does this one. Um, next is this small life insurance that I want to I'm going to have to call. I want to have it put into here. So it's just one amount that comes out for the month instead of the, the two for the same company. So that's weird. But yeah. So that one is due, comes out on the 21st and that one is automated as well. And it's for $5.46. So you can see why I'm like, it just needs to be rolled up to the other one. Then I have Ed Financial student loans and if you guys watched my my debt snowball for march um you'll understand how i was able to test my theory on that so um got that all fixed up and for now i am going to budget 35 dollars okay and that one is due on the 21st as well um, until I can really like throw more money at it. I'm still trying to deal with credit card debt first, but I still want to put something, even if it's a dollar, five dollars, whatever. So something comes off the principal. So I will be doing that. And this is number two. And that one's done on the 23rd. And that one is $75. Then I have my uh, car insurance. And that is due on the 23rd as well for $249.66. Um, that one is automated, comes out automatically. And then Netflix. And Netflix is the one that I want to switch so it's not coming out so far down at the end of the month. It comes out on the 27th. I want to get it up in here somewhere. And that is for $12.99. It did go up. So there's that. And then I have my cash envelopes and my cash envelopes. I did make an adjustment or several adjustments with um, my, my envelopes and how I'm categorizing them now. And I also decreased the amount. So it's going from 600 a month down to 500 a month. And I'll explain in detail in my um, cash envelope stuffing video. And with my sinking funds, I am also doing some reallocating of the fund category, funds category um, because I need to start um, a little fund for my um, I guess you call it like a tech fund or something because my laptop, my um, MacBook, she is old. I call her Snowflake. She's a white um, old MacBook and she's giving me every indication that she's ready to retire. So I need to be prepared for that. So yeah. All right. So my total is five thousand six hundred sixty four dollars and seventy nine cents and i have a remaining amount of five oh six ninety one so those are my numbers for the month of April and a few of the adjustment I had, adjustments that I had to make. 
and also um, things that I want to move around and whatnot. And again, I'll go into detail about my cash envelopes and sinking funds and what I want to do with them going forward. Um, so yeah, that that is it in a nutshell. So if you have made it this far in the video, you already know you're a trooper. Shout out to Tara Gay Nicole. Um, and as always, until my next video, hugs and love. Bye.